Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on August 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here looking at the sun, 193 angstroms as this is all that is available right now. Looking at some developing coronal holes and that's about it on our earth-facing sun right now. Earth-facing part of the sun, just coronal holes that are building. Looking at incoming imagery here, no major sunspots to talk about. And we do have those departing here, outgoing imagery. Still pretty fiery sunspot regions heading towards the backside. Another quick close look here at the coronal holes. Not quite equatorial, but a little bit of north and south. Watch for those possibly to grow together, keeping an eye on our sun over the next 48 hours, as it's been pretty active lately and going through a lull right now, I would say. Having a quick look here at 171 angstroms. Just some amazing imagery of those sunspot regions departing. Always like to share the amazing images from Solar Dy Dynamics Observatory. Having a look here, our solar X-ray flux was raised today. We were at a KP5 level today, and that was in regards to the space weather that was predicted two days ago, three days ago on the Daily Dew. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're not going to see it affected here, but definitely seeing it in the density and as well the geomagnetic proton flux. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, no major space weather events to observe. LASCO 2, you can just see those two bright regions departing on the right-hand side there. Other than that, pretty quiet sun. And low spiral or Iswa spiral still not showing any new events. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 12. Pretty low power today. Quality of 7.3. Amplitude of 12. Having a look at here, earthquakes the last 24 hours for shakers across the planet. And we're looking at about 350 earthquakes across the planet according to USGS and some pretty sizable ones at that but we're going to look at an active North American plate today we do have a new swarm northern California in Alder Springs California that's right north of Clear Lake it's south or sorry, north of the geysers looking at minor activity through Oregon as well today off the coast 2.9 there Stanley Idaho and as well, Wyoming, Rolling Hills, Wyoming, seeing a 3.7. That's southwest of Yellowstone. Continual activity through uh, White City, New Mexico. And as well, Toya, Texas. 3.1 here to report. Guadalupe, BC, Mexico border. But yeah, interesting little new swarm here. North of the geysers. Normally we see a pretty good swarm right about here at the geysers and I believe that's Clear Lake just south of there but this is where the new swarm is and we're looking at about 20 earthquakes today in the region I mean considering there hasn't been any here this week it's just a little bit of a notable situation because it did start out with a sizable three point what was it a 3.7 Right in the center of it all here, 3.7 Alder Springs. And then about 18 earthquakes followed. And now we're seeing minor earthquakes moving westward and southeastward there, that little red dot as of late. But across the United States, it has been active today. Small earthquake to report there, San Francisco Bay Area. Earthquakes still around Rainier. 
and as well north of St. Helens. Down into Ravensdale, Washington, minor activity as well. And then something as of note here, an explosion, a 2.2 shaker explosion reported in Princeton, Canada. Normally, they say it's a quarry blast, but uh, another mysterious mysterious explosion being reported, Upper Pacific Northwest. Minor activity here, Wyoming, north northwest of Yellowstone Lake. Nothing major to be of concern there. We'll carry on here. Minor activity through Alaska continues. 3.7 there being the largest through the region. And a 3.9 there uh, just eastward. Russia seeing a sizable 5.4 and a 4.8 Kursk. And as well a 4.4 here in Tagahaki, Japan. And as well Hasaki, Japan, 4.7. 4.5 here, Volcano Islands region, and there is, you can see it from above, there is ash spewing from that thing. If you look at the volcanic activity report from yesterday, you'll see it. Got the activity coming back to Indonesia and the Philippines today, and it started out with a sizable 5.9 here to all Indonesia. And as well, Sumatra rocking a 5.8 here, Sengai Punai, or Pino, Indonesia. North Sumatra, South Sumatra, Sinabung Volcano, very active region. Heads up, stay safe. As well, New Zealand, Kermadec Island seeing a 5.6 today, pretty sizable. And deepest earthquake today, 498 kilometer depth, 4.3. Fiji region, high high foe, 4.4, seeing a 250 kilometer depth there too. South America, Teltal, Chile. 4.5, 4.7, and a 4.3. All very coastal earthquakes through Chile today. 5.1 reported here. Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Puerto Rico is still seeing minor activity. Largest being the 3.8 for the day. And as well, Greece is seeing continual action here. Dota Chinese. And as well, Mandraki, 4.2 earthquakes. And as well, through Kuwait here today, reporting a 4.2, 10 kilometer depth. And watch this activity move northwestward, 4.5 and 4.6 there, Tajikistan. So I have Afghanistan, Tajikistan, and Iraq going off today. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. Pretty active, I would say, looking at about 360 across the planet. And this is the last seven days for earthquakes, seeing increased activity through North American plate. And of course, continual action through Alaska and through the peninsula. Got some notable news coming up there about the peninsula and as well notable Shakers going across the North Pole. And activity coming back to Indonesia and the Philippines. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes to get updated today. And we're going to start out here with who we got first. Who we got first here. We have Shavluch. And as well, we have Dokono in Indonesia. Sabinkaya in Peru. Many new fires being added today. And as well, Eniakchek in the United States. That's right, he has awakened. Eniakchek in the United States has awakened. And this is a volcano that I have brought up once before. I once noticed this big blob of energy this massive crater in the Alaskan Peninsula. This is Eniakchuk National Monument, very dormant, collapsed volcano. Already looking at some peaks and little lakes inside of this massive super volcanic crater. And apparently it has just awakened. And I went to satellite imagery 
And sure enough, we've got a very active Alaskan Peninsula right now. Looking at a little puff puff there from Venimianov. But definitely did see some action there from Venimianov and as well Eniakchuk. So Eniakchuk is the, the one down in the southwest corner. Venimianov had a pretty sizable eruption as well. There it is. That was Eniakchuk's spill of ash and debris. We'll carry on here. The volcanoes getting updated today. No other new ones to talk about. Reventador, Nevados to Chilean, Swiss to Najima in Japan, Ibu, Indonesia. And that's about it. So about eight volcanoes getting updated today, but pretty notable Eniakchuk in the United States. Two tropical storms to talk about. We have Tropical Storm Ignacio, who has developed just behind Tropical Storm Hilda. Most likely Hilda will dissipate. And, you uh, know, was that Ignacio? Will probably steal most of the energy from that storm. Stay tuned for the five-day forecast. Got a lot of fires breaking out in Montana. Thoughts and prayers for everybody being affected by the fires there. As well, Washington continues and as well, BC. And some new fires now through Manitoba. And as well, Saskatchewan. But many fires through Manitoba. And it kind of looks like the situation that's burning up in Russia. Let's just have a quick look at NASA Worldview overlooking Russia today. You can see still a very large plume of thick wildfire smoke overlooking Alaska. This is today Alaska and Northwest Territory minor fires there. But this is the most recent imagery over Russia. getting ready to head around the North Pole. And then look at the situation here, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Many, many fires breaking out. And I mean, this is pretty green area. There is no real dry, drought arid areas at all through this region here. So where are these fires coming from? Same with Russia. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here home base Calgary Alberta as man it is hot and the humidity is moving in we've got a little bit of moisture heading our way through the foothills but it's not really reaching the big city here we still have this big heat dome over the city but looking at the next five days we could see things change dramatically as we have a pretty big low pressure system heading in through northern BC. Let's just have a closer look. So it looks like we could have some stormy conditions Friday into Saturday and Sunday across Alberta, Saskatchewan, and as well the northern states with the border of Canada. And that's due to this low pressure system coming in from northern BC. And it's forecasted to come through right over Calgary center of the low. So we could see some extreme weather developing later in the week and as well through Colorado, Central Plains. System developing there as well. Continued rain through the Atlantic coast. Pretty vigorous system here heading into the United Kingdom. In the long range forecast, looks like it's going to be making landfall Wednesday and then won't be leaving for the next five days centered over you, joined by other low pressure systems. And not much has changed since yesterday's forecast over Europe. Still got that developing low. Could see some flash flooding and extreme weather with it, but nothing major. Nothing like what they saw two weeks ago. Overlooking West Indies, Southeast Asia, 
still have that continued low moving through northern Pakistan. And as well, a low pressure system tucked up into Myanmar. And then look at these two low pressure systems. One is going to be ravaging the China coastline here over the coming days. And then another one's going to be heading towards Japan. So, yeah, definitely a situation developing and continuous through China. And watch out for the Japan Olympics. You could have a pretty strong storm on your doorstep. Overlooking the Pacific, looking at a very fast and peculiar low pressure system here whipping through Russia and the Alaskan Peninsula. I wonder if that has anything to do with what's going on up there. All of the earthquakes, our jet stream. Overlooking here, the five day forecast through the Pacific. Doesn't look like those storms will be turning into anything major. And then watch for heavy rains here through Venezuela, Colombia, but then dry through most of the week and nothing major to talk about through South America and watch off the coast of Africa here could have a pretty intense low pressure system come through other than that just watch for daily evaporation rains heavy at times through the Congo region a low pressure system still spinning around through the Indian Ocean Daily evaporation rains through Micronesia, Papua New Guinea. And as well, watch for rain here to move out by Wednesday through southeastern parts of Australia. So by Thursday, the whole continent will be completely dry until Saturday. Southwestern parts get some rain and some pretty cool temperatures. Coastal regions, southeast Australia. Lots of rain heading towards New Zealand this week. No major weather systems heading towards Hawaii. We'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Pointing out the interesting low pressure systems, jet streams, that are still continuing to blow my mind. Five day, not so normal forecast. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.